Hey guys, welcome again. Welcome to my studio. So happy to see you. Today we're going to talk about how I get my ideas, how I conceptualize, how I get my ideas for my paintings, and particularly for my poetry painting. Well, the third, first thing I have to tell you is that I get my ideas by, by thinking about myself, about my world, because my art is about an exploration of who I am. So I first start thinking about how I'm feeling, what I'm thinking, what's going on around me. Sometimes I just get ideas by talking to people and then I write them down. Like everything always starts with one word. Like I said the other day, oh, I'm feeling so, so anxious, so anxious. What's the opposite of anxious? And I said, calm. I always start with the word and I said, Calm. What's the opposite of calm? And I said, what's a fun word for calm that is opposite to it? Crazy. I said, crazy. Oh my God. And then I said, how can I bound them together, put them together? And I said, well, this is about me. Then I said, I am calm. Then I am crazy. That's how I came up with that painting. This one that I have here, for example, I am calm. I am crazy. So it's about contrast and duality. I said, oh my God, how come I can all always be calm or I can always be crazy? No, because I'm both. I need to be both to be normal, to be a normal person. You need to be balanced. So I said, then let's write poetry about duality and about reality and about how we really are. So I said, I always write like, the first word and I write calm and then I start writing the opposite of calm crazy and then I write another word comes into my head happy and then I said what's the opposite of happy and then I said sad but what's another word that is even more fun than sad and then I said melancholic then I write melancholic and I say how many words are there because it has to match the other words so it fits into the canvas and how it's gonna look because my canvas is a square it's square shaped so I start writing the words and I start writing I am calm I am crazy but I put it into a square in my sketchbook to see what it's gonna look like in the canvas for example this painting this one is kind of crazy I said, I need to write something that is going to be honest. It's going to be about how I feel, but it's also about how other people feel so they can feel identified and maybe they can find help through my art. Because I said, art is also about feeling happy, feeling joy and healing. So I said, today I'm so worried about how much I eat, um, I'm home with all these things that are going in this planet. And then I said, oh my God, I'm worried about that. What's the opposite of fat? Skinny. Then I said, I'll write a poem that says, I am fat, I am skinny. And I said, wow, that's really, really shocking. But I said, I'm gonna go for it. And then when you start doing it, you forget about the text and you just become colored. Because once you write it and you start adding color into it, it becomes an abstraction and the words become even secondary. So you lose your fear. You become brave about the painting and about what you're saying. Like in this one, I said, oh my God, how is my hair today? How am I looking today? What am I gonna wear? I'm at home, I'm painting. And then I said, I'm thinking about beauty. And then I said, what are words? that are opposite that describe that feeling. Then I said, let me write a painting, a poetry about it. So I can also feel relieved, healed about it. And maybe other people feel the same way. So I said, I'm gonna do one that says, I am ugly, I am pretty. Some days I feel so, so unpresentable. And other days I feel so beautiful. I'm like, wow, what's wrong with me? Today I feel so different to the other day. We are like that. And that's how the poetry is. It's a dual poetry. And that's how I come up with my ideas. 
like this one. It's a little softer, but it's also dual. I was like, oh, today I want to feel very spiritual. I want to be in the light. I want to be connected. How come I cannot be aligned all the time like the people I admire, like Louisa Hay or Gabby Bernstein, you know? Because I said I'm dual. So what's the opposite of light? And I said darkness. And then I said, I'm gonna write a poem about it. Then I said, I am light, I am darkness. And because I'm human, I even made a spelling mistake here and I wrote darkness. And I said, oh my God, that's even more cool. Someone in Instagram wrote me, what is that? And I said, I don't know, I just noticed it. Thank you anyways. It's fun, you know, to make mistakes. It's also fun, you learn from them. So that's how I come up with my ideas. Like one day I wanted to do one about encouraging people to feel good. So I said, what's a famous phrase? And then I found this one about Gabby Bernstein that she wrote, it's good to feel good. So I said, I'm gonna make a painting of that one. I made a little, just a little paper painting but I wrote it here in my paper with all my markers. And I said, one day I'm gonna make a canvas. So if you put it together in a piece of paper or in your sketchbook, you always have it there. You can come back to it and get the idea and do it again and always keep going so you don't forget. So that's the importance of it. So I just write, like right now I'm thinking, what's what's the poem for this class? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna think about? So I said, well, I'm feeling a little nervous about things right now. So what's another word for nervous? Nervous, O-U-S. And I said, afraid. I love that word, afraid, even though it's very, it's terrifying to think about it. I said, I need to confront my fears. And I said, what's the opposite of afraid? And I said, brave, let's do brave. And I said, I wrote brave. I wrote it last night thinking about you guys in my class. And I said, I'm gonna write it down in my sketchbook. So when I come to the class, I remember and I have it here. And I am afraid, I am brave that I wrote it and it's there. And then I said, what if I start thinking about colors? I always like to start I with pink. I love pink and I think it's so personal to start I am with a pink. And then what's contrasting to pink? Blue. And what's the best friend, best friend of pink? Green. And what's opposite to green? Orange. And that's how you go. It's so easy You just think what's the best friend of the color and what's the opposite of it. And just grab the markers and start putting a different color on each letter. And that's how I do the coloring of these poems, just by feeling it. And that's how you're gonna do it. And after I do it, I feel so liberated and so good. And I feel like, wow, this is so good for my health. So happy makes me happy. And I wanna teach others how to do it. So <laughs> this is how I do poetry painting. I have a little tea, I relax, I calm down, and then I say, I'll see you in the next video for how we're going to prepare our canvases. Hope to see you there.